lots of wild animals, sea animals, farm animals, zoo animals on our table right here. Hello all Dinosaurians and welcome back to Mind Studio where I keep all my dinosaur figurines or our animal figurines and today we are going to take a look at my collection of Takara Tomy little animal figures okay there are like sea animals wild animals zoo animals i'm very excited let's get right into it okay guys so let's get started the first figure let's take a look at this beautiful blue wheel right here it has a movable jaw, okay? So let's put this back into the box. So all these little figures, they are pretty nice. I really love, you know, the figures from this brand. And um, this is actually a beluga wheel. It has a movable jaw. You can actually move the tail. It looks really beautiful. And you guys know that beluga wheels, they can actually use echolocation to find its way. All right, let's see what else we've got. A white lion. I'm not too sure whether there is actually, you know, white lions you know, that are, that can be found in the wild, I'm not too sure. So you can see this figure is really nicely detailed. You are able to move the legs. It's beautifully painted as well. It looks gorgeous. I love this. What else do we have? We have a stellar sea eagle. Wow, this looks like a beautiful bird. You can see the eyes are beautifully painted. And of course, eagles, they have fantastic eyesight. Here, we have a beautiful whale shark, as you guys can see. They are pretty slow swimmer, I must say. Alright, this figure, it has like one, two, two points of articulation just on the tail. And it has a, um, a jaw that can be opened. Alright, let's take a look at the other animals on the table. What about this one right here? We have a beautiful elephant. You can see it has a trunk and two points of articulation. So the ears as well. Yep, this is a figure that was released um, a couple of years back, I must say. Okay, what else do we have? Our panda. Yeah, this is a beautiful panda with a movable hat. Okay. Let's pick up another animal. How about this one? This is a Bactrian camel. It has two arms right over here. So in case that you guys don't know, those two arms, they are used to store fats, which is like the food for the camel and here we have a zebra beautiful figure right here you can see it looks really fantastic the paintwork is amazing i love this a lot let's see what else we've got what about this one this is actually a megalodon again it's not a great white shark this is a megalodon a prehistoric shark and this is the size of a modern day shark so i think it is roughly about maybe 10 times the size 10 times the length Yep, so this is the size of a modern day great white shark and this is the megalodon. So you can see how big, you know, it was. That's right. Let's see what else we've got. Another shark right here. This is actually a um, great white shark. There, there should be a couple of great white shark figures. There's another one, but this one is actually a um, an older version. This is the, the latest version. It's sort of like a re remake of it. It's made of like more rubbery material. Okay, let's see what else we've got. A beautiful silverback gorilla. Yes, this gorillas they are known as silverbacks because you know there's like white fur behind, and they are usually the alpha males. Let's see what else we've got. A polar bear. Yes, that's right. Do you guys know that a polar bear, the fur, they are actually like translucent. Yep, it's partly translucent. You can actually see right through them. But from far, the, the, the fur appears to be like, you know, white in color or yellowish in color. Let's see, what else we've got? A manta ray right here. Yeah, these flippers can actually flip. So it's pretty good. All right. Let's see, what else we've got? A beautiful brown bear right here. Okay, so take a look at this. So brown bear, they usually feed on salmon fish. And it comes, this figure comes with a fish. So it looks really nice. So you can actually put this into um, the jaw like this. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so let's put this back into the box. Let's see what else we've got. A beautiful tiger. This is probably a Bengal tiger or a Siberian tiger. Most likely a Bengal tiger. And here we have a red panda. I've actually seen some red pandas um, in my local zoo a couple of years back. Yep, let's see what else we've got. Giraffe. Yes, this is 
a really beautiful giraffe, the tallest land animal. Let's see what else we've got right here. And not a gorilla. Yes, this is nice. This is a nice one. This gorilla seems to be provoked. It seems to be angry. You can see the jaw wide open, the you know, the really sharp teeth showing. And this gorilla is definitely, you know, very strong. You can see the muscles on his body. Yeah, a really beautiful one. And it's supposed to like hold a pineapple. I'm, I'm not too sure why, but this figure, it, it came with a pineapple. Okay, so what is this? This is actually a cheetah. Okay, a cheetah, the fastest land animal. Let's see what else we've got. Um, our car. This is the killer whale. But I feel this fin, it should be like way longer. Okay. Um, this one right here, it's a Pacific white sided dolphin. A nice one. And um, this is a chimpanzee, as you guys can see, a really beautiful one. The face is beautifully painted and, um, you know, detailed. Really love this a lot. It has, um, you know, plenty of articulation as well. Okay. Let's see what else we've got. Flamingos. Yes. These two flamingos, they actually came in a pair, I think. If I'm not wrong, they came in a little small box. They're able to move the neck. The beautiful collectibles, I must say. And um, here we have a lioness, and this lioness actually came along with the little lion cop right here. So it looks so adorable. I think this has got to be our most adorable figure in our collection. It looks so cute. This um, you know, young lion, and um, this is the lioness, the female lion. We have another giraffe right here. Okay, a beautiful one. Let's see what else we've got. Another elephant, but this one is actually different from the previous one. It only has one point of articulation right over here. It looks like a young elephant. Next, we have two rhinoceros. Okay, this one right here is actually an African rhinoceros, and this one is an Indian rhinoceros. You can see, you can tell the difference just by the skin texture. This is like you know, a bit more crumpled. There are like little bumps on the body texture as well. And the horns are like slightly different as well. So different breeds, different species of rhinoceros. Let's see what else we've got. This should be, I'm not too sure. I think it should be an alligator. Yeah, probably I'm not too sure. Or it could be a crocodile. It's a beautiful horse, okay. A brown horse, looks really majestic. We have another orca. Yes, I think it's the same one. Yeah, but this one I think probably came along with a young orca. It's right here. Okay, so it came along in a set. Yeah, it looks really beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. A lion. This is another beautiful lion. We have a couple of lions, as you guys can see. Um, so basically, Takara told me has released different lions. This one has a darker mane. Uh, but more or less, they look the same. The body is got slightly different. This one is like more muscular. You can see a bit of mus you know, muscle definition right here. And there's a bit of fur. Yeah, the, the pose is different as well. The left leg is like pointing forward. So it's, it looks kind of different. And not a tiger, which is different one from the pre previous one that we have seen. This one is, uh, is it has more, more expression, I must say. You're able to move the head. Able to move the jaw. The previous one, you, you were not able to move the head. Let's see what else we've got. Wow, this one has got to be one of my most favorite. A black lion. It looks super, super intimidating, and it has blue eyes. I don't, I don't think this is like an, um, you know, a real live lion. I don't think you, you're able to find like black lions like this. But it looks super cool. Yeah, I, I love this. Panda looks super adorable, as you guys can see. It's holding on to a um, bamboo shoot. Yeah, um, they, they love you know to chew on them. They can break this really hot bamboo shoots with the teeth, you know, really easily as well. Yeah, another whale shark, but I think this one is um you know a new version. Let's see what else we got. We have a hippopotamus. I think they look super adorable, but they can be pretty aggressive. A white tiger. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, you can see his beautiful blue shiny eyes. Yeah, I think this is a pretty old figure. I think we should have like a couple of tigers. 
And we do have another white lion right here, so wow. I have seen white tigers before, but never seen a white lion before, so I don't think they are like real. Yep. We have two spotted seals right over here. Okay, you're able to move the, the head. They look very adorable. I mean, they're all like lying flat down. They seem to be like, you know, lazing around. Another beautiful elephant right here. Okay, and this elephant, it has like longer tusk. So it should be a, um, an adult. This one is a, um, a Nile crocodile, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And um, we have a beautiful koala who is holding on to its baby. So it looks very, very sweet. And this is a Japanese monkey. Yeah, I think this figure, it came along with a baby Japanese monkey, which is right here. So you can actually put it on top of its body. Okay, it looks really adorable. I've never seen, um, you know, Japanese monkeys before in real life. And um, speaking of Japanese, this is another Japanese um, breed. This is a Shiba Inu, okay? Another elephant, but this one has more expression. The mouth is opened, okay? And the tusks are longer. The ears can't be moved, although they seem to be able to. Another chimpanzee. I think this is like a uh, another different version. I think this is an older one. Yeah, it looks pretty beat up. We have a beautiful owl right here. Okay, not too sure what is the exact breed of this owl. A beautiful white horse. Okay. Let's see, what do we have right here? Another tiger, I, I mean lion. So you can see this lion looks fantastic. You're able to close the jaw. The legs are spread out wide. It definitely looks more confident um, than the previous lion that we have seen. With a sea lion right here, you're able to move the flippers, the body. So it's pretty cool. Um, Shiba Inu, okay. This is Shiba Inu. They are lovely, lovely intelligent dogs. A sea turtle right here. You're able to move the flippers. Okay, you can see the shell it looks really beautiful. We have a rabbit right here. I'm not exactly sure what kind of um, you know, what type of rabbit is, is this. But they're able to rotate the head, and it looks so cute. Has got to be one of the cutest in the collection. And speaking of cute animals, this is another one. This is a pygmy hippo, a pygmy hippo calf, a young one. Okay. Okapi, yes guys, this is a Okapi which can be found in the uh, Republic of Congo, which is in Africa. They're pretty hard to find. They are known as the unicorns of um Africa. And right here we have a wolf. Okay. Looks really beautiful. Wolf are intelligent and loyal animals. I mean they're not domestic pets, but they can be pretty loyal. This is a reindeer. Okay, a reindeer with the huge and beautiful antlers. Yes, these two horns right here, they're known as antlers. With a tiny little cute and adorable panda cup. Yep, looks so cute and adorable. What is this? It looks like a very young otter. Yep, this, is, this came along with the adult otter. You can basically put this on top of his body like this. So, and you can put them on water, supposed to be like floating on the water. We have an emperor penguin right here. You know, I think it came along in our set. The couple of like emperor penguins like this. There's even like a um, emperor penguin cheek right here. So this emperor penguin cheeks, they are kind of um, different in colors, um, you know, as compared to the adults. Right. Oh yeah, more emperor penguin chicks right here, as you guys can see. They are so 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 cute and adorable. This one you're able to move the flippers, okay, but not for this one. This one is like stationary, but you can move the head instead. But this one you can't move the head, so yeah, I kind of make up mix up for it. All right, we have a kangaroo right here, and this kangaroo actually comes with the Joey which is the baby kangaroo in his pouch. So it looks really beautiful. They're able to move the legs. The tail can't be moved. Let's see what else we've got. 
What is this? I think this is a meerkat, if I'm not wrong. So this is able to move the head. It's kind of nice. Another pygmy hippo calf. You can see it's it looks so adorable. This one you can't open the jaw like the previous one, but you're able to rotate the head. So it looks kind of cute and adorable. Okay, we still have plenty of um, animals right here. This is a snowy owl, as you guys can see. Yeah, it looks kind of scary to me. I'm not too sure, but you're able to rotate the head. It's so beautiful. The, the level of detailing on this is pretty incredible. And another sea turtle right here. This time, the, the color of this sea turtle is actually different. It's more brownish in tone or as compared to the green one um, previously. This is a giraffe, okay? A baby giraffe, as you guys can see. A young giraffe calf, You're able to move the neck. The head as well, oh cool, nice. Beautiful one. This is a um, literal will, a will calf, I guess. A baby sea turtle, as you guys can see, looks so cute and adorable. You can't move the flippers or the or the head. Reindeer came off. Let's just gather all the animals right here. Okay, this one is another emperor penguin. For this, you are able to move the flippers. It was kind of cool. Um, this is a rabbit, and this post seems to be you know seems to be hopping. It seems to be hopping like this. You're able to rotate the head. So it looks really good. What is this, guys? What is this? Is this like a baby otter? I think so. It looks so cute. I mean, take a look at the face. Oh my goodness. This has got to be the cutest little thing from our collection. Oh yeah. I mean, come on guys. What about me? What about me? <laughs> you are cute as well. Your head can be rotated. And you have like the loveliest eyes, I'm gonna say. Yeah, it's hard to choose like which one is the cutest. Seems like all of them are super adorable. This one right here as well. It's a seal. A seal pop. <laughs> and it just looks so cute. How about this one? A mere cat. Okay, this one it looks adorable as well, but not as cute as the, the previous one. For sure. Okay, what about this one? Okay, this one I think it looks kind of cute as well. It has a uh, movable tail. Yeah, the expression, the face is pretty cute, I must say. Pretty cute, pretty inno innocent looking. And um, what is this? Another sea lion. Nice. All right, I think that's that's about it. So this is basically, um, um, you know, my collection of um, Takara Tobi animals. I, I still have some, but you know, I basically unboxed them and kept them in this, I'm gonna bring it back into my, um, you know, store. So if we move along, okay, this is where I keep the lights are off. So I have to open the cupboard. You know, it's kind of scary, right? I mean, if the lights are off, the lights is faulty. So I'm just gonna on another lights right here. Yeah, right now it's better. So this is where I put um. goodness it drop on the floor i'm gonna pick them all up all right thanks for watching this i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye